boys and girls, Mrs. Hanson here. We are going to work on a little bit of math. So you guys are going to need your My Math book, a pencil, and your red and a blue crayon. So once you get that, you guys are going to need to open up to page 6.99. 6.99 is cylinders and cones. So we have 6.99. 700, 701, 702. So these are the two pages, four pages you're going to need. And we're doing this next lesson, which is cylinders, cylinders, and cones. So remember, we were talking about that 3D shapes, you can see them from all different angles. So like, say if I look at my cylinder like this, when I flip it, it's like that on the other side. But see how my circle, flat. Same thing when we have like a cone. See how it kind of looks like a triangle? But when we have a triangle and we put it down like this, flat. A 3D shape is not flat. So we have our cone. Remember our cone kind of looks like a party hat. I have a tiny little party hat. Or it could be like a top, you know, like the little toys that you spin. Or my favorite ice cream cone. So it's a cone. See how if we put some ice cream at the top. Look, we'll use our sphere. Put some ice cream at the top. And then it looks like a cone. That's what it's called, is a cone. And then we have our cylinder. Just round on both ends and smooth on the sides. We could roll our cylinder. Could we also stack our cylinder? We could. Now what about our cone? Can we stack our cone? No. Can we roll it? We could roll it. It's not the greatest roller because it's going to roll right back around, but we definitely could roll it, right? So our cylinder, I like to say, looks like a can. So Mrs. Hansen has her can of green beans. This is a cylinder. And so we are going to start our front page. So our first page, we are going to draw, it says go on a three-dimensional shape walk around the classroom or around your house. So remember you guys can draw or go around your house, find any items that look like cones or cylinder. I found my can of green beans. So I am going to draw my can of green beans next to my cylinder because that is the same shape. I'm going to write beans next to it on my can. And then my cone, I went on a hunt and I found an ice cream cone in my freezer. I don't really have any ice cream cones in my freezer. We ate them all. They were super delicious. We got those like drumstick ones with the chocolate inside. Oh, yummy. So I drew my can up here and my ice cream cone. I'm going to make a little arrow to my cone so I know I'm talking about my cone. All right. So you guys can draw the same pictures as Mrs. Hansen, or you can draw pictures that you find in your house. All right. So now we are going to do the back. I'll read you the direction so you guys can do this on your own. Name the shape above the object. So what are these shapes? We have, hold on one second. So we have our cylinder and our cone. So describe it. A cone has two circles on the end and smooth and round on the sides. A cone goes to a point and round and smooth on the end. Compare it to the shapes of the objects. Trace the circle around the matching shape. So right here we have our battery. A battery is a cylinder. So we circled our battery. Over here we have our cone. So let's circle our cone. All right. 
So now we have three and four. Name the first shape in the row. Describe it. Compare it to the shapes of objects in the row and circle the matching shape. So what's this? Match it, circle it. What is this? Match it, circle it. Baby B's playing in the other room. She likes yelling right now. Okay, right here, name the shape, describe it, match it. Name the shape, describe it, match it and circle. Make sure you're circling the one that matches. What's the shape? Name it, match it. What is the shape? Name it, match it and circle it. Okay. All right, now we have our back with our crayons and look what happened to all of our crayons. The tips broke off. So, point to the broken pieces of crayons. All of these are broken pieces. Name the shape. What are these shapes that broke off? Are those cylinders or are those cones? Identify each shape by coloring the cones blue. So color your cones blue and color the cylinders red. So, after the point broke off, what shape is this that's left over? So cones blue, cylinders red. And then explain what a cylinder looks like. So whoever you're with, what does a cylinder look like? And then what does a cone look like? And you're coloring the cones blue, cylinders red. All right, so that is all we have to do. Make sure you draw your picture on the front. There, follow the matching shapes. And then color the back where you have your cones blue and your cylinders red. All right, guys, that's all we have for right now for cylinders and cones. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.